Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's going to be obviously, unfortunately, you know, for mistakes that we were um, punished on. I think we need to move past this game as quickly as possible and take advantage of the last two games of the season that we fully believe we could put ourselves in a good position. This has nothing to do with uh, what the team was looking to do on the night. I thought there was some very good moments from the group, some very good moments from the group. Um, obviously, a fantastic finish from Emma, a few chances before that with Beth Setter and and. Kayla Fisher. So um, acknowledging the the moments uh, of good football, but needing to play the 90 plus game. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, football is football. It's a matter of um, who makes the least amount of mistakes. And we unfortunately were punished for ours tonight. Yeah, I guess I'd be interested in hearing a bit more about that. So what, what would you say made some of those best chances work? I know, for example, I saw things start mm -hmm. to change after mm -hmm. the, the water break and like mm -hmm. the 15th minute or so it seemed mm -hmm. like you guys were starting to take a little bit more uh you know to be more aggressive offensively so what were the things that you saw work best tonight yeah and i think once we just got into our structures everybody um understood their roles and and felt confident in that execution we got on the ball a few times um found that once we we stretched the game with that beyond run and kind of what was presented from in the pockets and kind of just overall decision making I felt like the group got into a very good space at, uh, in several moments throughout the game um and I think it obviously created that very early chance when we came in from half uh but yeah I think it's just you know the group believed I don't think the group didn't believe the whole time um again uh, unfortunately we were just punished for those mistakes on the night and then uh, Gilly had a line to the effect of sometimes you just got to take a game and throw it in the trash. <laughs> um, and yeah. I'm, I'm interested in like how you keep like this team going and afloat and hyped up for mm -hmm. the last couple of games here mm -hmm. that are really – yeah, really do or die. Now. Yeah, it's my job. So I go in, I'm going to dig, I'm going to do whatever I can to continue to motivate this group. Because if there's one thing I freaking believe, I believe this group is capable of making playoffs. And that still hasn't changed even with the result tonight. So um, I think it's very important that the group feels my energy sees my energy, understands my energy so that they can mimic the similar thing and surpass it. Um, so I'm going to dig into, you know, obviously how we recap this match itself, kind of what we do, but I'm going to echo that we need to move on. We need to move forward and we need to continue to to believe and belong um, with what we know we can do. And then what makes Washington such a tough matchup? Like what, what would you, do you see Washington doing that, you know, you might have to be ready for, for, from Portland, San yeah. Diego, or anybody else. Yeah, forward. yeah. I just think they're a credibly, um, they're a respectable side. Um, they're a respectable side from the staff, and and obviously the way that they're trying to play. Um, the staff has come in this year, has done a phenomenal job. Um, and yeah, I obviously think that you know we again had moments tonight, but um, you can't ignore um the respectable side that they are. And then having Taylor back this match, yeah. uh, like how much of an impact did you see her having, uh, you know, coming back in the lineup and being able to sort of anchor that defensive midfield? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, due to the yellow card accumulation, um, she was suspended last match and obviously an opportunity to give a little bit of a rest in a time where we need to massively push with these last three games now, two games. Um yeah, I think it just allows her to be fresh. I think she's fantastic at breaking up play. She leaves her feet a lot. She looks to put in tackles um, and obviously kind of break up their momentum um, for us in order to gain it. Uh, her range of passing I speak about pretty consistently. Um, she can change the point of attack either foot. Uh, very good in her long range passing as well as her ability to combine central. So, yeah, I think she, you know, uh, we were very excited to have her back tonight. Very excited. And I remember just in the Summer Cup, mm -hmm. I remember there was a lot of trying out different things. And then I think mm -hmm. after we had been, after I had been on that, we um, Janine, uh, Janine came in and mm -hmm. Bethany came mm -hmm. in. Like so far, you know, what have you seen them be able to do to fit in, and what are the things that you're looking, you know, maybe into 2025 to maybe like get them to do a bit more on like the, sort of the pros and cons and challenges of uh, of incorporating new players and sort of doing something a little different in the second half of the season. Yeah, yeah. No, I think they've done a fantastic job. Obviously, you know, it's it presents different challenges in the sense of coming from a different team and immersing yourself in a new team with their tactics, their structures, their culture. Um, I think they've massively positively impacted our culture in so many ways um, off the pitch. And I think they've done a very good job 
um, immersing themselves as quick as possible to understand our structures and our tactics. And I think they've leaned on the players around them that have come with open arms and understood their want to to know specifically what their roles are and what they're supposed to do. Um, and yeah, I think they've done a very good job. I think they've been, uh, they've really made a good impact both on and off the pitch for us. And we're incredibly excited and grateful that they're here. Just one more follow-up. Of course. Up was, um, just, I could hear during the match, I could, hear, I could see you bringing Janine in a lot and we were trying to get her kind of mm -hmm. over to the center, get all get opportunities to her. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what uh, what would you say is the key to really activating her as sort of a potential goal scoring threat and what even more going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Um, And it was just communication, at least for the sidelines. It's easiest to get to them to explain, um, you know, areas that I'm looking for, maybe more height, maybe more depth type of uh, uh, structures. Uh, so I think she does a really good job at understanding the messages that I need to get across, getting it across to the group. Um, And she tries so consistently to be as effective as possible um, and she controls her controllables which is exactly that you can't always put out the perfect pass the perfect cross the perfect run um, but she just works her socks off so yeah um, again just very grateful that she's here lastly on the other sort of final thought take away sort of maybe even sort of message to the, to the fans who will, who will be coming back home and seeing them and uh, seeing you guys play Portland yeah obviously we have two games um we are in this push for playoffs and uh we've got Portland at home we've got San Diego to away so the support means everything right. awesome thank you thank you thanks sure. Uh, that was that was Paul's question as well, so that's good. Uh, can I just ask real quick, Bev? Uh, Emma Sears just set the uh, new high for goals from a rookie uh, for Racing Louisville. I know it's a young uh, club history, but uh, what is it about her that has stood out to you in her first year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think if you ask me to describe um, Emma in one word, I would say that she's special. And the reason why I think she's so special is because um, she takes advantage of um, her opportunities and they come in different fashion in different ways. Um, she looks to impact the group, um, however her role is presented. Um, and she is just phenomenal. When you watch her from the sidelines and you get the understanding throughout trainings, um, she has an incredible attitude and an incredible coachability. And when you ask her to do something, she's very at the forefront of, I can do it. I can do it. Absolutely. Um, she wants to be coached and that's something that you can't teach. Uh, but she also has some very, very incredible natural ability. And I know that she will continue to do very good things in this league and, and there on and there on. Um, I'm just happy that she's in purple and she's with us. Uh, I think she shows every game who she is and what she brings um, and just very grateful for all she does for this group. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Bev. Safe travels. Thank you.